Hey, what's going on, folks? Mike from Long Island Shaving. How's everyone doing this evening? Welcome to the Shave Den. Appreciate you guys tuning in today for another Shave of the Day and review of a new razor that arrived in the den a few days ago um, that I'm really eager to get started with and uh, try because I've had my eye on it for some time. Um, this razor, actually, just so you guys know up front, was sent to me by Yaki. I received a care package from Grace over at Yaki. So, Grace, thank you very much for supporting the channel. I I so much appreciate that. Um, Yaki has supported this channel in the past. Um, and there was a couple of razors that I've had my eye on. And when I received this care package from Grace, uh, I was really excited about what I was seeing. And I will get into many of those razors um, over the next few weeks. Uh, but the one that I chose for today's shave from that package is the Yaki Titanium Ghost Razor. Uh, you guys, I'm sure have seen this on the AliExpress website. Um, I, from what I understand, um, this is a fairly mild razor. Um, I'll be the judge of that. This I haven't shaved with it yet, so this will be my first time. As you guys see here, I have some facial hair that I can use. I'm keeping the goatee. I decided to kind of change things up. My son wanted to have a goatee, 16 years old. I convinced him to do it. I said, you know what? What the hell? I'll grow one out too. So that's the reason why I'm growing this out. But everywhere else, I got two days worth of growth. So we'll definitely put this new uh, Yaki Ghost to the test for today's shave. But thank you, Grace, for supporting the channel again. My first experience with Yaki, I had picked up the uh, Final Cut Adjustable Razor. And I was so impressed with how that shaved. Um, when they came out with their stainless steel version, I immediately picked up the stainless steel version, which I have since piff to a friend of mine that was new to wet shaving uh that really enjoys it but i do remember how well that razor shaved and i kind of missed it and uh grace was also very kind enough to send me one of the newer versions of the yaki ultima with the new handle uh which i had the old handle so i know how this shaves it's a great razor it's a great adjustable razor it's based on the gibbs razor uh for those of you that do not know um, but I will shave with this again on my channel and I'll share my experience. But I already know that's a phenomenal razor. And it does really well with the Wizardmat uh, Super Iridium Blades because that's the one I used on my Ultima last. So again, really excited to shave with the Ghost today. So I'm going to be doing that. And um, Grace also sent over a really nice brush called the Caramel. Uh, it's a 26 millimeter two band badger uh, that I've already kind of cleaned multiple times left in the refrigerator to take the funk out so i think we're good to go for today's shave so thank you grace for the brush as well to use in this uh review and the soap i'm going to be going with is from my buddy brett uh fellow subscriber fellow wet shaver uh friend of mine that's been also very supportive of the channel sent me out a bunch of samples which is also going to lead me to making i'm sure a lot more purchases in the near future so brett Thank you very much for sending me 20 uh, soap samples of sets that I really enjoy that I'm going to have no other choice but to purchase now. Actually, one of them that was a sample was cream soda. And there you go. There's a full set there from the collaboration between McDuff's and the Razor Company. So I'll be shaving that in a couple of days. But today I'm going to be shaving with Tabaki. I've heard great things about Tabaki. There's obviously no label, but that's what's in here. I'm a big fan of Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. It's one of one of my favorites. Ombre Leather is one of my favorites. And uh, Tom Ford's um, 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 Tobacco Vanille. Absolutely love. And I've been hearing great things about Tobacco from uh, Master Soap Creations. As you guys know, that's the artisan behind Tobacco. Um, so... Um, yeah, so just kind of read off the, the set notes for Tabaki. It is uh, tobacco leaf, spicy notes, mid notes of vanilla, cacao, tonka bean. Love that tonka bean. And tobacco blossom. Uh, base notes are dried fruits and woodsy notes. Boy, do I love my woodsy notes. So that's the soap for today. I'm going to be whipping that up in my Shave Nation copper bowl that I received about a week or two ago. And I've been absolutely in love with this bowl with the eight lather lines, the eight raised lines. Uh, it whips up an amazing lather. So I'm going to go ahead and whip up a lather with the Yaki Caramel 26 millimeter knot with Tabaki. And I will be right back and we'll get right into today's shave. 
All right, guys, I'm back. Have the uh, tobacco whipped up in the Shave Nation bowl. And let me tell you, this scent, um, it is fantastic. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to be making a purchase of uh, tobacco from uh, Master Soap and Creation. So um, I may have uh, the razor company on speed dial uh, tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I have another set probably coming to me in the coming weeks. But um Again, I'm a sucker for any Tom Ford fragrances uh, that right up my alley, and uh, this is a good one for sure. And I didn't even shave with it yet, so but this whole bathroom smells like it. So that's that. So let's get right into today's shave. Let me wet the face, and uh, we'll get started. So Brett, thank you for uh, the sample and contributing to my rabbit hole. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, I spent some time uh, cleaning out this brush over the last few days. You know, anytime you get a new Badger brush, it's always good to uh, clean it up. As you guys can see, whipped up a really nice lather. The Badgers do absorb a lot of the uh, soap. I didn't put a lot of soap in the bowl, but it's okay. Still going to do the job. Hope everyone had a great week. I mean, this week has been uh, definitely one for the record books for me. Um, definitely busy, I guess, which is a good thing at work, right? It's better to be busy, better to be busy than not. Because that means you're being productive. So, uh, but definitely stressful. So I'm glad to uh, get the shave in and uh, I'm happy to now have an opportunity to uh, shave at this new razor from Yankee, which uh, kind of been looking forward to the last few days. All right, here we go. Yeah, man, I love that scent. All right, Yaki Ghost. 0.70 millimeter blade gap on the Yaki Ghost. So let's see how this shaves. Actually, I want to make my sideburns a little longer. We'll stop uh, right about there. Going to completely change up the look. So, so far, not a, um, not a lot of blade feel, but the efficiency seems pretty good so far. You can hear it getting through the growth. Nice and smooth. I'm not putting a lot of weight on it because this, uh, obviously being titanium, you got to put a little bit more weight than... Uh, it was stainless steel. But I would agree with that at first, uh, with the first pass that it's kind of fair, it's more on the mild side for me. You gotta sheep that in, you gotta pay attention because you don't wanna mess it up. Otherwise, I'm going to be shaving all this off for you guys. Yeah, but I've been very impressed uh, with a lot of the uh, razors that I have tried from Yaki. I know I've used the uh, Yaki Sentinel on this uh, channel. Uh, that's, that's more on the aggressive side. That was sent to me from a buddy of mine initially. And uh, Grace also included that plate as well. So I have uh, another plate of, uh, I think it's what, a different blade gap. So I'm going to double check to compare it to the one I have. 
And perhaps I'll try that one out as well. Not bad. Again, if you, you have sensitive skin, you shave every day, uh, this will be a good choice. I, I mean, I, I like more aggressive razors. I like razors that have a lot of efficiency on them, um, have some nice blade feel. It's not super mild, but it's definitely leaning more on the mild side. But everyone's different, and some people, you know, rather have a more mind razor. than they're not, they're not a fan of the aggressive um, razors that we all know and enjoy. Enjoy this. Obviously, this is not a Blackbird. There's nowhere near that. But first pass, not too bad. Okay, Let's lather up and get past two in. And other than, obviously, this, I don't have a lot of facial hair to get through here today. So this is actually a, a pretty good uh, razor to go with for today's shave when you don't, when you don't have uh, multiple days worth of growth. Oh, love. I love that scent. I don't know if you guys are a big fan of uh, Tom Ford, but they do an amazing job on their fragrances. Yeah, and guys, just so you know, this is not the fault of the uh, artisan these uh, badger brushes brushes absorb a lot of lather and uh, I didn't put a lot of I'm gonna start putting a lot more soap but it was also a sample so I can't put too much but no question a great scent just gonna do a quick uh, two pass shave today this one I'm gonna go against the grain and I'm using also, just so you guys know, a uh, Wizomet Super Iridium blade, which is obviously the people's blade and it's one of my favorites. So that's the one I decided to go with for the ghost. So as you guys can see here, um, it, the first pass pretty much got through most of the growth on the first pass. Maybe not so much there. Nice. So it's Friday night, weekend is upon us. Got some things I gotta get done around the house. It's a good thing that the uh, weather is more on the mild side as of late. I don't know how it is in other parts of the country. I've really been paying attention to the news, but I believe the uh, weather patterns have been better, but I could be wrong. Could be hitting other parts of the country and could be hitting us any day now, but honestly, I've been so busy with work, I really don't know uh, what is going on out there. Maybe it's better that I just don't know. But I do know it's going to be a big football weekend, that's for sure. You got the Chiefs and the Falcons game on Sunday at 3 o'clock, so... Looking forward to watching that.
a shave. I like it. I mean, again, it's, uh, I'm going to be honest with you, it's a mild razor. Um, so again, if you do, if you are a shaver, you shave every single day like I did for work, this will be perfect, perfectly fine. And a three pass shave will get you BBS on three passes. Uh, a little buffering every so often. Uh, there's not a ton of blade feel. Um, the efficiency is more on the medium side. It's not a very aggressive efficiency, uh, but it gets the job done. Um, has a, you know, night, what I also like has a nice low profile, um, head. So easy to get under the nose, which I'm not doing for this shave, obviously. Um, but, uh, I do really like the look of this razor. Um, and if you put, I could try, you know, putting in, let's say a feather blade or maybe a Gillette platinum. Uh, but I think the super iridium wisdom blades are somewhat more on leaning towards on the aggressive side. So I think it's a, it's similar to, let's say a Gillette platinum, um, but uh, yeah, I was, I was definitely pleased with the shave. Um, definitely one, again, if you're looking for something, uh, you have sensitive skin and you're looking for something a little bit more mild, uh, this definitely will be a good choice. Um, and Tabaki um, from Master Soap Creations, um, I think I'm definitely going to be picking this one up for sure. So with that, let me just rinse the face, wash off, and I will be right back and we'll wrap this up. Don't have the splash, but I have some bombs I'm going to be using. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Really great shave. I really enjoy the uh, tobacco uh, scent. Now I understand the whole fanfare behind that and uh, why everyone swears by it, you know. So really great scent. So, uh, yeah, Brett, I'm going to have to pick that up from the Razor Company. I think that's a Razor Company exclusive, if I'm not mistaken, just like... Uh, cream soda was so uh thank you again for that uh but yaki ghost guys um really great you know razor again a sensitive one so if you're one that shaves every single day not very aggressive on the efficiency not a lot of blade feel if you are typically are one that likes aluminum razors because they're lighter uh this is right up your alley obviously because this is titanium this is 57 grams so it's definitely a light razor it's a mild one uh, great for people that have sensitive skin and uh, if you're a daily shaver. Um, but no question, it did the job. I did two I did two passes. I didn't do three. If I did a third, I mean, I'm practically, honestly, BBS with just the two passes. Against the grain and against the grain and with the grain. I didn't do the across the grain pass today. But, uh, yeah, I really don't have any trouble spots. It pretty much got through what I had and it was two days worth of growth. So... It did the job. Definitely recommend this um, if you're looking for a mild razor. I'll include the link in my description uh, if you are interested. And uh, definitely check out Yaki. They got a lot of great products. And uh, a couple more that I'm going to be sharing on this channel uh, in the coming days and weeks. Perhaps maybe I'll do another review of another razor uh, that was sent to me that I've been really eagerly wanting to try. But this one is considered a very aggressive razor with a lot of blade feel. So I'll give you guys a hint. Uh, but that I, uh, besides the Ultima, as we all know, you put this on six, you're asking for trouble. <laughs> I mean, even six for this would be aggressive. When I shave with the Ultima, um, on setting three is still considered aggressive. A lot of blade feel, very, a lot of efficiency. So uh, if you want aggressiveness to the extreme, go with the uh, Yaki Ultima Adjustable and then the Yaki Ghost if you're looking for more of a mild razor. But I'll include the description below. But thank you, Grace, again uh, from Yaki for supporting this uh, channel. Really do appreciate you sending this care package and as well as the uh, shade brush as well. So thank you very much. Again, for those of you that are new to the channel, again, welcome. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed the content. And if you guys have any questions, uh, please leave the comments down below. I really do appreciate it. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. <clears throat> With that... Enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.